surrounding counties now face the same decision that Philadelphia did. Should they go all virtual, in person, or a little bit of both? Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden joins us now from Havertown, Delaware County. He's been talking with parents and school board leaders there. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jessica. The decisions are all over the map. For Haverford, they are plowing through with a hybrid model that is still going to have a mix of in-class and virtual learning. In Upper Darby Township, the superintendent there tells me, just like grocery stores, public transportation, he believes education in the classroom to be essential. But following Philadelphia's lead, what is happening with the MLB, some of these districts are finding that they might have to start pumping the brakes on the hybrid model and have emergency meetings to figure out where to go next. It should come as no surprise a number of Delaware Valley school districts are now hesitating on plans to do any in-person learning as the school year kicks off in just a matter of weeks. Do you think they should go back? Um, I don't really know. I wish that there was, you know, some kind of uh, better leadership to tell us what the right things are to do. Should the kids go back? Absolutely not. Not right now. I don't think so. Kids in college, should they be back on campus? Yes, both of mine are going back to campus. With Philadelphia schools delaying any classroom attendance to at least November, outlying districts are considering major edits to plans conceived weeks, even months ago. Haverford Township School Board President Lawrence Feinberg. None of us are public health experts. We're trying to do the best we can to keep our kids and our, and our employees safe. Uh, there's no there's no good answers here. School leaders speaking with Eyewitness News say all bets are off that there is any one silver bullet to solve the problem confronted by 500 school districts in PA. And some parents doing some back to school shopping agree entirely. My sense is that they probably shouldn't, but since no one's willing to make that general decision, even if it's just for a short period of time, that they're probably going to go back um, and it's going to be like a patchwork. We still haven't shut this thing down. You know, look at what other countries have been able to do where they actually paid attention to masking and social distancing. And here we are, you know, several months into it and, you know, we're just going round and round. Well, the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, which of course oversees scores of schools, rolled out plans on Monday. They are going back to brick and mortar settings, as they've called them. That means that facial coverings, social distancing, hand sanitizers will all be mandated. But interestingly enough, once the kids get to their desks, which will be six feet apart from the others, they're able to remove their facial coverings. We're going to stay on top of this one. You can count on it live in Havertown. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thanks for that.